Hey everybody, this is Liz. I'm a farmer and I help coordinate some of the grants for North Central SARE. One question we get a lot is about how do I take this kernel of an idea I have and turn it into an actual grant proposal, especially if you've never written one before, it can feel daunting. But the reality is as farmers, we're constantly problem solving. We're identifying things that could be better about our farms and thinking of ways to improve. So I've got a few resources I wanna share with you about how to take that kernel of an idea and turn it into a full grant proposal. First, our SARE staff, we're here to help. We love to talk to people who are thinking about applying. Um, just give us a call or email. Second is the call for proposals. So this is a document we put together specifically to help you. Uh, it lays out what questions you're gonna have to answer when you apply, what costs you can include and way more. Um, and it is kind of a meaty document, but that's on purpose. We want it to be an important resource for you. Third, you could reach out to your SARE state coordinator. So every state has one or maybe multiple people who work uh, a portion of their job for SARE, helping to promote our resources and our grant programs. And you can call them up and chat with them about your idea. They might be able to provide some feedback or help you focus your idea. They might even be able to review part of your grant application ahead of the deadline. Be in touch with these folks. Okay, so the way you find these people is you go to northcentral.sare.org and you click on SARE in your state and then state coordinators. And you're going to find a list of who's there to help you and how you can contact them. Next, and this is a good one, is the Michael Fields Agricultural Institute. So these folks provide free one-on-one -on -one grant writing assistance. Um, and I'll put their email address in the video description below. And last but not least, let's hear from some past SARE grant recipients about how they approach developing their ideas. I'm an entomologist that, and I work at Ecdysis Foundation, located at Blue Dasher Farm. We're out here in rural South Dakota by Esteline. It's a, it's a nonprofit that is working, designed to work closely with with farmers and ranchers uh, that are that are trying to figure out how to implement regenerative practices on their land. Uh, so this is a roller crimper that we built uh, with funding from SARE and this is designed to terminate cover crops uh, if they're at the correct stage. This, this piece of machine uh, the idea came because we had a lot of farmers in the area that were interested in, in using a roller crimper to control their cover crops in the springtime before they put in their cash crops. And the problem they were running into is there weren't a lot of available in our areas in South Dakota. And they also cost quite a bit of money, which was a big hang up for a lot of producers. Uh, that were trying something different on their farm. Roller crimping was kind of a new idea, so they didn't want to invest a lot of money if they, if they didn't have the, the, the funds or weren't sure that it would work well with their operations. So uh, a colleague of mine, Mike Bredesen, and I were talking to some local farmers, and we kind of came up with the idea that we, we could build one of these machines uh, for not that much money and not that much time. And so that was the idea, and we approached SARE to get some funding for it. And, uh, and the project took off from there. And this machine is built from mostly scrap parts, and that was the whole idea to, to, for cost savings from this. So hopefully, uh, uh, the next phase of this project is to release videos of our build, as well as blueprints to the public, uh, so that people don't have to spend so much time trying to figure out how to fit all the pieces together.